Drei für den Ritz. Shock and dismay at Odlum City as family members come to terms with the senseless murder of their loved one. As St. Lucia recorded its seventh known homicide for the year, around noon, Wednesday, 9th February. My brother, is just, I mean, he has COPD, can barely walk, speak, you know. So like I said about him, that's all. Why would somebody, I mean, you know, he's, he's man is a harmless man, like he can't do anything, he can't do nothing at all. The victim, an elderly man in his early 60s, identified as Wayne Ballhead Lovens, was gunned down in his own bed. Loved ones are appalled by the vile nature of the slaying, given the victim was stricken with illness, had limited mobility, and posed a threat to no one. It's like you got your house, just people are shooting you, like, you know, I don't know, why would it come in his house and in his head? And even you bought it, this man does that, that, you know. It's hard, man. It's hard, it's hard, it's hard, it's hard, you know. Brother of the victim, Vincent Valence, described the deceased as unproblematic, a familiar face in the community whose tragic end is blatantly unfair and unjust. And he's a you know, nice guy, you know, everybody knows him. He's a friendly guy, he's a pincer, you know, pincer everybody, he's good to everybody, you know. The family is miffed by what could be the motive behind such an unspeakable act of violence. We know about to be a good person. Everybody sees him as bored, bored, your brother bored, bored. And when I come and see him, everybody happy. You can come and see, you know, he's not. But it's like he any problem with body, any crime, anything with body, and he's stealing, and you know, man, he's just a good man. He's sick, he's sick, you know, he can't go nowhere. So, and he can barely breathe, you know. So, I don't know, why should somebody. I don't know what caused it, but no one doesn't know anything. Law enforcement investigations into the death of Wayne Ballhead Lovens is said to be in the preliminary stages. Crime scene investigators were busy gathering forensic evidence as the probe into the unconscionable slaying gets underway as loved ones and the community writ large hope for answers in this latest murder mystery. Sula Jalfred. HDS News Force.